how you fellas doing? It's all Raptor Jesus here. A little fixing up of my uh, great outdoors map for my Wild West game I'm working on. I'm glad you guys are joining me here, and I hope you like these videos. And if you want to see more of this content, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, now let's get to it. Expanding this little roadway here at the edge of the map. This is probably where one of the railways will start once a you know the railroad starts moving in which will be sort of a plot point for my campaign I think so I'd like time to advance like technology to advance and such for this campaign I think it would be kind of interesting decide that move that town a little bit closer to the forest I kind of imagine that place out there is probably like some sort of logging community off the beaten path you know guess we should move this kind of Native American tribe more on the edge of the woods I suppose I'm not sure if these guys are gonna be nomadic or uh, what kind of like uh, tribe these guys will be. I think they'll be enemy of the other Native Americans. That way players can kind of use them against each other if they need, they need to. Gotta move this goat closer to the foothills I think. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> See how this looks a little bit. I like this because uh, the starting city is going to be like a cattle town, but and the, I wanted this like kind of conflict with them and the sheep herders, and the sheep herders kind of have like better grazing land than the cattle do. It's not too bad. It's like grassy foothills and such. Kind of light forest. It's not so bad, but you know, it gives something to kind of have like contention over. So I imagine they try to bring the, the cattle all the way up to that sheep place to kind of graze. And I'm sure uh, that's what this community will be is, is uh, sheep farmers. Probably some of them Europeans <laughs> or something like that. Out uh, here, there's a lot of uh, Greek families and Mexican families that sheep herd. Different places like uh, different old USSR states, people coming from those areas, even like way back in the 1800s and such. Uh, settle in these regions. And that's what generally makes up the hardy mountain folk of this state, I guess. So I had to make a little bit of a path here because I noticed there's this kind of road for the big starting settlement, so that might be like a good route to kind of try to make some money with the military bases. But you know, when you're like cattle wrestling and and horse wrestling and stuff like the military don't really give a shit where their beef or horse flesh comes from. They just need the supplies. So they're usually willing to look the other way and they got that big uh, government budget so they can pay pretty good. So it's kind of good to have like those kind of contacts when you're an outlaw I think.
So I'm always willing to be proven wrong down in the comments if you guys have a better idea. I'm sure there's a lot of people can teach me. It's the internet. That's the nature of it. It's a well actually zone. <laughs> Trying to see what else I really need to kind of fix up, make it look presentable. I usually put these kinds of maps on World Anvil, which I'm uh, once I'm start uh, getting good and and ready to finish. Like Zen World Anvil is really nice because you can make articles for each of the locations and link them, so it's helpful for the players. I think. Sometimes it's hard to relay information over the internet. Kind of find it difficult to play online, but most everybody seems too busy to to really get in touch. So I usually just have my my Discord buddies and me play games. Since my real friends are too busy with life as it goes, you know. Sorry to add back some of these dead forests. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, little zones, you know, she got like probably lightning strikes and such. I try to like branch those out a little bit. I think that's an entirely a possibility that, you know, you have these huge giant catastrophes because you don't got modern technology to back you up. So I think that's something we're grateful for, don't you think, fellas? Right, I guess that's the rest of the video, fellas. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I hope you like my video. If you want to see more of this stuff, please uh, subscribe. I hope you guys uh, have a good game next time you play, and keep your shield arm strong, alright?